tonight we have something very fun planned. I don't know if you can tell what's behind us here, but we are staying at a Universal Resort Hotel for the first time, I think, ever. I don't think I've ever stayed at one before. Um, we are at the Endless Summer Resorts and we're staying at the Dockside Inn and Suites tonight. They have a really good Florida um, resident rate going on right now. And so we just wanted to go check it out and be able to see what the rooms are like. We just got the standard room for now, um, but I'm excited. Let's go check it out. We are over in Tower 2 tonight. Tower 1 is just right over there on the other side of the lobby. Um, and then right up here they have the pool, which has quite a bit of people in it right now. And then as far as parking goes, they have a parking garage and you can also find a spot out here. We're gonna head into the Tower 2 right here. If you could open, if she'd open the door for me. <laughs> walk down this hall to the elevator because we are on the seventh floor look at the nice mural they've got on this wall and now we're at the elevators and we're with my parents as well all right we are at 2771 let's go in and see what this looks like so something i noticed is right when we open the door you have to insert your card for power what does that mean Oh, you have to push your card in. Removing card key turns off power. So that's, that's what operates everything. And here's what the room looks like. Now, one thing I noticed is it's kind of hard to find. Oh, right there. Is that the light switch? Yep. And then over here, there's probably, oh, you just pull down on these to get these lights on. There we go. We're starting to figure this out now. So as you enter, they have a big mirror that you can stand in front of to get ready. Through here, they've got um, ironing board. You can, the safe, clothes hangers, an extra pillow, um, storage. Ooh, they've got a nice thermostat. And then in here, here's the room. So we've got two queen beds. Um, looks like they've got just the basic, um, but look at this nice chair over here, TV, plenty of plugins there, which is nice. Oh, and here, plenty of outlets. Um, they've got a little, almost like a bench pulls out course nice drawers and then the fridge right there and here's what that chair looks like let's test it pretty comfortable slide the bed out pretty comfortable our view we didn't get any special view we just got like I said the standard room of everything it definitely feels and looks very clean in here, which is nice. And then they've got this. Oh, they've got the remotes um, sanitized there. Another outlet. And then is this just, oh, that's just for decorations, like a nightstand. Another outlet here. And then the bathroom. Let's see. There I am there. The lighted mirror, which is really nice. A nice vanity some towels and then in here we've got you know the toilet the shower let's see they've got renewing shampoo cleansing bath bar and hydrating conditioner so that is a tour of just the generic queen bed room and their do not disturb little signs are themed Still dreaming of the perfect wave. I found out when we were checking in is one, I'm celebrating my birthday. So they gave me a birthday pin. Two, even if you're a pass holder, you still have to pay $15 to park. Three, she said the buses actually are quicker than driving. Um, 
before they text you and you can text back and forth for like room service or um, if you need a towel or anything like that, it's via text, which is really cool. And then they also have a few places, at grab and go places, a Starbucks and everything else in the lobby. Now, one of the main things I wanted to test is um, since Timber and I are pass holders, we get into the parks um, early admission, but my parents have regular tickets. This resort allows them to get in the parks early as well. And what they do is when you check in, they write their names on one of the room cards and then you take the room cards with you as well as your tickets to the park and that allows them to ride the rides for early admission if they, since they don't have an annual pass. Now it's dark outside and we're walking by the pool. They've got a ping pong table outside. I assume somewhere there's hot tubs. There's still quite a bit of people out here and you can see they have plenty of chairs that you can sit in and um, kind of hang out at. Let's go in. Another view of the pool. It's a very big pool. And then over here, they have a bar that's still open. So didn't know they had one out here, but pretty cool. Like I said, there's the pool and it's very large pool, which is good. So for a point of reference, here is the dockside Inn and Suites. And then right across the way there, is the Surfside Inn and Suites. So they are sister resorts right next to each other. Check out the roof up here under the drop off and pick up spot. And since I didn't show it earlier, we wanna show you what the lobby looks like. So here's the lobby. They have a sunset lounge over there, a Starbucks, which opens, I think at six or 6.30. That's where you check in, which is what we did a little earlier today. They've got some chairs and stuff you can sit on and it's closed right now but earlier it was open a universal studio store which i assume is the which has the same stuff as the universal store at the park which we've gone to before so i'll put one of those videos in the description in the corner of the video but i love the theming in here it's very nice and here's the way to tower two and over there is the way to tower one let's take a quick peek through here you can see a lot of the same stuff they have at the parks. Okay, although we haven't yet stayed the night in the room, um, I just at least wanted to give everybody a tour of kind of the resort and the room. Um, we've got a very early morning, so we're gonna head to bed, but um, so far it looks very nice and I'm excited that we actually get to stay at one of the theme parks. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but when you grab the remote, it lights up. That's, that's cool. All right, it's the next morning and it's early, but that was our little tour slash stay at Dockside Inn and Suites here at the Endless Summer Resort at Universal Orlando. It was good. I liked it. It's kind of like a more equivalent to like a value resort, but um, beds were just normal beds and everything was clean and nice. And you're right here close to the park. So it took about, I think, five minutes to drive. But um, next time we'll have to come and actually like do a full day at the resort. It was just kind of a last minute stay and um, get up the next morning because we are actually doing the early morning at Universal. Um, but it was fun. It was good. Um, and we will be back. So that does it for today at our stay here. Thanks for watching.